Venice? Yeah, they tried to. They they stole some stuff from our house. Um, and how got, was that like right before the fire? No, it happened back in April or something like that. So it's not a it's not an issue. You know, the guy he made a mistake. He's behind bars now, and he's gonna get a lot of time to think about what he did. Did you guys get the stuff back? No. 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 But did you get to kick his ass a little bit? I wish. <laughs> the guy the guy called me, uh, the detective, and he asked me. He's like, what do you think? Uh, what do you think his punishment should be? And I said, give me five minutes with him. He's like, well, we, we can't really do something like that, you know, and really what it comes down to is, uh, you know, we're, we're fortunate in the, in the sense where what they stole, the amount of stuff they stole, which is like $40,000 worth of stuff. I mean, they pretty much just took all of our valuables, you know, and some things that you can't put a price tag on. Um, the thing is, we're fortunate enough that we can afford that, right? Like, we can wait for insurance and all that and, and have it not affect our lives. The problem is, what if, what if that person was hardworking on the last dollar and these people come in and take all their stuff and, you know, it's like somebody like that is really going to have a hard time. And, and that's, you know, we're fortunate that we can be like, damn, that really sucks. But our insurance will take cover, take care of it. What if somebody didn't have insurance? What if they're struggling? What if this and that? And then they're they're really screwed. What if they get evicted from their house because they can't make the payment or something like that? You know, it's like it's really unfortunate. So I asked for five minutes, but they wouldn't give it to me. Do you think they knew that uh, the house was up? Yeah. Well, I guess the guy tried to lie to the cops and say that oh Travis asked me to watch the house while they're out of town which was bullshit because I don't even remember the guy's name one but two I mean if I asked somebody to watch our house we wouldn't have fifty thousand forty thousand dollars worth of missing shit you know when they found them at the same park and they saw did they know that that was like it was your house that they had robbed they yeah they started grabbing their stuff and trying to leave and that's when you know in Venice there's a lot of cops there so uh, you know I'm dressed in cowboy boots jeans and a shirt at a skate park standing out like nobody's business you know six seven yeah I can see them starting to grab their things and like trying to pretend like they're like making their way off and I just watched them walk away and saw some cops talk to the cops and they went and got them and had them arrested maybe an hour or two later since then, have you guys done anything to like beef up the security of your home? Oh yeah, yeah. Good luck trying to get in our place now. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, feeling safe was never it was never an issue. You know, like if they were to break in when we were home, you know, we would have probably had some corpses on our bodies. So we're 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 armed and ready if anybody tries to break in. What, what does it feel like yeah, having so many people ask more and more questions about your personal life these days? Because um, would you prefer to be talking about your fight rather than us talking about your home getting robbed? And nah, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I know what I have to go out and do come Saturday. It doesn't distract me, it doesn't deter me from going out there and doing my job. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, being, being in the situation that I'm in, um, you know, people are going to ask those questions, and I knew that going into it, sure. you know, so, I mean, it's calling a spade a spade, really. Yeah, and, you know, how do you feel ahead of this fight on Saturday night? What, what kind of statement do you want to, you know, leave, I guess, with people leaving the Team Mobile Arena on Saturday? Yeah, well, you know, I, I feel like going into this fight, I'm making my debut again. Coming off of three losses, uh, you know, I lost the momentum that I had, any momentum that I had before. So going into this fight, you know, it's like I'm making a debut. I have to go out there and make a, make a statement. I have to go out there and stop this guy, whether it's on, you know, with my striking or with my ground game. Yeah. I have to go out there and I have to finish him, um, make a name for myself again.